this is Mark Cook reporting for AvWeb and Kid Planes at Sebring 2009. We're in the Rotax tent this morning looking at the uh, one of the three members, the prominent members of the uh, LSA engine group. Now, of course, light sport aircraft, you're limited to, to maximum gross weight, so engine weight is a big, big factor for, uh, for any installation. Uh, by far the most popular engine in the group is the 912, which we have right here. Big deal about the 912 is very compact and very light. It's about 125 pounds uh, without fluids, and that has worked really well on some of the lightweight airframes. Uh, the Rotex 912 is basically a four-cylinder, four-stroke liquid-cooled engine. It does have a gearbox with a couple of different ratios available. Uh, pair of carburetors, so there's, and they're self-compensating, so there's no mixture control. It is liquid-cooled with liquid-cooled heads and air-cooled cylinders, and it has electronic ignition, dual-plug ignition. Of course, for a variety of reasons, including its weight and compactness and high horsepower ratings, the 912 has been the runaway choice for a lot of light sport aircraft, but we're, we're seeing a couple other engine designs really start to pick up the pace. Uh, there's the Jabiru 2200 and 3300 series, six-cylinder and four-cylinder, and also the, the Continental 0200, the venerable 0200, is, uh, is making a bit of a statement in light sport. So we'll go take a look at those. So now we've seen the Rotax 912. Uh, one of the other engines that's really kind of taken off, if you'll pardon the pun, with the LSA segment is the Continental O200. Of course, it's derived from the old C-Series engines, which you know, a lot of pilots think is as old as dirt, and that's kind of selling this thing short. Actually, Continental spent a fair amount of effort developing this engine. The primary goals really were to take some weight out of it, but also to improve the accessories, improve the starter and the alternator in particular. So some of the detailed changes on the LSA version of the O200 engine include a lightweight starter by Skytech, a lightweight permanent magnet alternator, uh, and a variety of internal changes really meant to get some weight out of the engine without, uh, without doing anything uh, negative to durability. Um, for a lot of aircraft that demand the torque, uh, this has actually turned out to be a very nice engine. Really the only knock is it's a, it, it was a bit on the heavy side, it's getting better, but it's a, around 200 pounds, so uh, you have to have an airplane that will handle that kind of load. So we've looked at the more traditional Continental engine, and the Jabiru engine is the third of the most more popular LSA engines at this point, and it's kind of a hybrid. It's a new design engine, but it's got uh, very traditional uh, architecture. It's an air-cooled engine. There's actually two in the series. There's the 2200 and the 3300, uh, a four-cylinder and six-cylinder. Uh, 2200 is 85 horsepower, and the six-cylinder is 120 horsepower. But it's, even though it's got some high-tech machining and a very nice finish, it's really kind of a traditional aircraft engine. It's direct drive, uh, it's got air-cooled heads and cylinders, and it's predominantly oil-cooled. Uh, it does, however, have a capacitive discharge ignition system, uh, two spark plugs per cylinder, no magnetos here, uh, and it is like the Rotax 912 uh, fed by a Bing carburetor. So it's a, a little bit of a hybrid in that sense. Uh, the thing that makes the Jabiru really nice is it's kind of in between in terms of weight. It's about 185 pounds for this engine installed, uh, which is real competitive with the, uh, the, the Continental, uh, a little bit heavier than the Rotax, but here you get an extra 20 horsepower, so it, uh, a lot of the, the airframe manufacturers, like the Lightning you see here, uh, they really see that as a, a, a valuable compromise. Uh, the other thing that's really nice about the, the Jabiru engine is they're very smooth, particularly the six-cylinder. Uh, it's a relatively small displacement engine, and it, it's very, very smooth in the installation. So the Jabiru is, is really the third leg of the stool of the popular LSA engines that include the Continental O200 and the Rotax 912. And, uh, you know, among them they make uh, for, for kind of compelling power plants and a, a whole variety of things in the new light sport aircraft. So this is Mark Cook reporting for AvWeb and Kit Planes at Sebring 2009.